Alright everybody, I just completed my first grow using this system and I would love to show you what I did here because I have some amazing uh, results. I have one more plant that's still growing in this system and so I'll show you what that plant looks like as well. What I have here is a 20 gallon uh, Rubbermaid garbage can and got this from Home Depot for about 13 bucks. This is also a bucket from Home Depot. That's 250 for the bucket. Um, Home Depot sells this type of hosing, however it's really expensive from there so um, if you have any uh, hydroponic stores near you I highly recommend going there because uh, this for example this blue stuff is like 20 cents a square f a linear foot sorry not a square foot a linear foot <laughs> and uh, this is even cheaper than that so um, I highly recommend going there or even getting it online if you can because this this will end up running you about eight bucks for a roll of this at Home Depot and yeah you figure cool I can use that but you know all, that whole amount but they they roll the whole thing so tight that by the time you get to the center ones they're all bent and you end up with like about a good foot that you can't use because once it's bent and cribbed and it's been sitting like that for so long like you know like this it eventually becomes that will not go away so in the long run unless you're really desperate I suggest going somewhere else you can also get these um, pieces at your local hydro hydroponic stores or uh, online just google hydroponic you can also get different various kinds of uh, misters but we won't be using that in this particular uh, setup in this setup we're going to uh, what, what you need is the bucket or the, the garbage can the bucket you'll need um, about go for two feet tops of this uh, half inch hose and then you'll need uh, three or four T brackets and the one T bracket that comes you're gonna, you're, uh, from the pump you're going to drill a hole in or you could use uh, an angle bracket here drill a hole there have this angle bracket come around to here this angle bracket would would then be put there and then you would eliminate this process so then the water would come from here 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 and here. This makes it easy because then you're able to grab this whole thing and this end and hang it out of the bucket to drain uh, when you're changing your water. And I'll show you that on the other setup too. So there's two different ways to do it. I learned the other way is a little bit better. This is the process I'm showing you because I already have it broken down. I, I wanted to uh, make sure it all worked well before I posted something like this. So uh, the bucket I just drilled a series of holes in. Sorry, you also need that. Uh, the bucket has holes drilled in it and in the bottom. And you can see the f I have five holes there and then just a bunch of them going around the sides. Then I took the lid and I, I dr uh, cut a hole on the inside for the plant to grow out of. Then I cut the lid in half. What's nice is when you have this in separate uh, pieces, uh, these lids, they snap down. So you can, you can lock that into place and it won't fall off. And then what ends up happening is uh, you can overlap these like this. And um, it ends up locking in place. This one, I, I covered this up with uh, just some cloth, just some white, like washcloths or something. Just the reason what ha what happened here is uh, I learned from a mistake, and I ended up uh, caving this down and then screwing it down because I needed it to uh, uh, sit at the right level of the bucket. But um, I made up for that later by creating a stand that the bucket sat on. So what happens is you take your bucket like so, 
take your your brace. You might need to pe uh, put a piece of wood in the bottom because it, it's uh, kind of rippled. But you put your base down there. And then your bucket sits on top of the base like that. Okay. Then inside the bottom of the bucket is lava rocks and pea gravel. I did lava rocks up to here and then the rest was pea gravel and I found that the um, the root system loved the pea gravel a lot more than the lava rocks um, so because they're so heavy you wouldn't be able to use those but you would be able to maybe make this bucket smaller and use uh, pea gravel I don't suggest perlite because uh, you can end up clogging up your pump with that so then here I just have a little niche notch drilled out there and then your pump goes in the bottom your pump goes in here underneath and then I I had the uh, my hose coming up from the pump and then I what I did was I drilled a hole in the side of the bucket and that is where you're going to put your ring up here and then the T is going to stick out of the ring on this side and then you'll end up uh, connecting your hose to to that then you'll have your your air stone connected to a quarter inch tube that here you can see the little notch I cut and drilled in the side and then one is for the uh, the plug for the pump and the other one is for this and then you can see that and this snaps on like that the plant grows out of the top whenever you need to change your water or add water you can just take off here Re really simple and then you're able to, I always add the water to the root system and all my nutrients to the root system so it gets a brand new fresh uh, flush of that every time. I usually keep the water. You want the level of this to be, um, you know, just a little bit taller than this, uh, the top of the garbage can. This piece that I made, I believe, is uh, six and a half inches tall. So you can experiment with that on your own to see what level you want it it at um, because I'm still kind of working with that. I didn't need to, to cave my uh, lid in to, to match the top so I ended up trying to bring it back to its normal state but it didn't quite work as well. But once if that lid wasn't concaved and it had its normal uh, um, you know curve to it it would fit perfectly on top of here and it would fit perfectly around the, the top of this and man, does this system work great, and I'll show you the results.